Well, it's one of the season's hottest squashes, but do you know how to cook it? Here to show us some simple ways to cook spaghetti squash in the CI kitchen, U of I student chef Heather Gruderman. Good to have you. Thank you. It's nice to be here. Yeah, I feel like this is kind of a fall thing, right? Squash? Yeah, especially winter squash. Uh, it's in season. You can find it that the grocery stores um, they're on sale now so it's perfect time to do it that's good yeah and, it, and it's a welcome addition to any thanksgiving table i was surprised i did a little research about the different kinds of squashes because we're going to make mm -hmm. spaghetti squash today yes but i guess there's there's butternut squash there's oh, there's so squash. many different kinds yeah yeah and, and they, they just differ probably in what taste and taste texture um you know different ways to prepare it yeah so it, no matter what you do though if you do it right <laughs> which is the key. Good. Yeah, I yeah. was jokingly saying you go squish with your squash, which usually isn't good. You want it to, you want it to be soft, but not. Yeah, not too soft. Really? Of yeah, so. yeah. All right. So how do we get started? What do you re recommend here? Okay, so spaghetti squash. Um, it's gonna look something like this. Okay. I already cut it in half, and just to warn everyone, it's. It's a pain trying to cut it. I mean, it's very thick, very hard. Yeah. Um, I mean, so, you know, be careful. That's a thick rind, right? Yes, yeah. yes. Um, so you cut it in half, and then... Can I save the seeds? Actually, yeah. They look a lot like pumpkin seeds. Um, yeah. I was looking up online, too. I was doing my research, and, uh, you know, pump some people say they'll, you know, prepare it just like pumpkin seeds. So yeah. that's another idea. Cool. And then we have a bunch of different ingredients, so tell us what we're going to be looking at and using today. Okay, so green pepper, just green bell pepper, onion, mushrooms, um, some olive oil and garlic that mm -hmm. we're going to saute, and then marinara sauce we're going to throw in with it. Um, just so we can have something to serve with our spaghetti squash, have right. it spaghetti style. <laughs> okay. And then some mozzarella cheese, of course. Uh, is it, why do they call it spaghetti squash? Is... Because it looks like spaghetti. Once you're done cooking it and preparing okay. it, okay. yeah, it's very similar to spaghetti. Yeah, and I guess you can kind of see that on the inside with the, with the way the stringiness of the Yeah, of the and core. that's already cooked. Um, okay. Just I did that beforehand. Um, so you can kind of see what it'll look like. Yeah, all right, well, let's get started. Okay, well, if you want to help out, okay. we'll take this out of here, and all we're right. going to have to scoop out all of the, the yucky stuff, the, the seeds, yes. <laughs> so we'll scoop that out, and you can just scoop it out right into okay. there. Okay, all right. I've cut up a few pumpkins in my time, so I think <laughs> I can manage this. So, all right, so you're just scooping it out, and you don't want to go too deep, right? Because you want to keep them, as much of the meat as possible. Of course, of course, yeah. yeah. So just, just enough to get out the seeds and... Um, a little bit All more. of the stringy stuff. Yeah. All right, how it goes. Pretty simple. Mm-hmm. And I've already been well, I don't have to be perfect, right? Of like, course there's, not. There's a little gunk not. in there still. Yeah, this whole process is really all up to you. Um, all your preference. Yeah. I know, I know. All right, so, so it looks great. Looks all right, great. Thank you. I needed the verbal encouragement. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Yes, there we go. Next up, um, we have the oven. It's been preheating to 375. Okay. And we're just gonna. I guess we can move all of this off of here. Just put it on a baking sheet. Okay. Yeah, and um, cut side down so you'll have the rind on the outside okay and we'll just throw it in the oven and depending on the size and whatever texture you want out of your spaghetti squash that's going to determine how long we have it in there okay this I, it was just in for 30 minutes okay um, but it can range I mean if you have a really big one and you like it more mushy you, you could do it up to like 45 minutes yeah even this, longer this is the hard part about television you can't always tell the squishiness but maybe as I <laughs> squeeze gently against it I mean there's a little pushback and you can see maybe if we break a little bit of it there on the side you can kind of get a shot of mm -hmm. how that how that comes apart so it's not I mean it's not mush no at this point and that and that's the goal right mm -hmm. okay yeah so, all right, so this, this is what it's going to look like when it comes out of my oven. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's yes. what I like here. Okay, and then what's next? Okay, well, while it's cooking in the oven, mm -hmm. um, we can go ahead and start sauteing up some vegetables. Okay. So. So, well, let's, let's wait for the next segment to get that going. Okay. What do you think? Sounds, yeah, sounds okay. good. Then we can just go through how to take out all of the... All um, the inside? All the flesh, yeah, get our spaghetti out of our spaghetti squash. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be good and simple. So I'm going to I'm going to leave this with you for just a second. Okay. And we'll good. get this going. Hey, do you want to cook this with us today? And who doesn't, right? Heather's doing an awesome job here. We're going to check in with her in a little bit. And in the meantime, get the directions for her awesome spaghetti squash recipe over on CILiving.tv. All right.